That's right, it's Mask It Monday. Um, today is going to be a short overview on five different types of clays that you're going to see in face masks. If you're into conventional beauty or green beauty, you're gonna see clay in marketed in face masks. One of the great things that it does is draw impurities from the skin. This is a super cheap, economical, great way to face mask. You can use um, clay alone, just with water. You can mix it with apple cider vinegar. You can mix it with honey. You can mix it with yogurt. You can mix it with essential oils. Not, I mean, I'm sorry, not essential oils, but more like carrier oils. I purchased my clay, um, a clay sampler pack from Garden of Wisdom. Um, it was $24 and I forget how many different types of clays you got. But these are the, the five most common that you'll see in face mask products. So the first type of clay is bentonite clay. It's actually composed of volcanic ash. What's really interesting about bentonite clay is that when you mix it with water, it actually creates an electrical charge. And when you apply that to your skin, um, it draws out on a chemical electrical level, it draws out impurities that way. So if you have congested skin or oily skin, bentonite face masks are great for you. A very, very popular face mask is this um, Indian secret clay and apple cider vinegar. The next clay is French green clay. Why is it green? <laughs> well, it's because it, it contains iron oxides and decomposed plant material. Now, you might be grossed out <laughs> by that. It's basically the composts of clay. Um, however, the thing about having decomposed clay decomposed plants in your clay is that all those essential minerals remain in the clay. So the cool thing about French green clay is that it has tons of magnesium, calcium, potassium, dolomite, silica, manganese, phosphorus, silicone, copper, and selenium. All good things for your skin. One thing to take note of is that French green clay should always be green. If it's not green, you don't want to buy it. Now, this is another mask that's just great on its own or mixed with water, but say you're not into any DIY, well check out this brand. Relatively affordable and easy to find at Target. The next up is white kaolin clay. Now if you have sensitive skin, this is the clay you're going to want to pay attention to. It helps stimulate circulation as well as gently exfoliating and cleansing the skin. It also, unlike some other clays, does not draw out oil from the skin, so it is another great one for dry skin. I particularly like it a lot because I have dry skin. It is high in calcium, silica, zinc, and magnesium. Here's a lady that sells a really great one on Etsy. Pink kaolin clay. Um, a lot of times you're going to see this mixed with rose. Um, it looks super fancy because it's beautiful and it's pink. The pink color actually comes from iron oxides. This is another clay that can be used on all skin types. Um, it has a lot of the same similar properties of all the other clays that we've been talking about. It gently will pull out impurities while cleansing the skin, while gently exfoliating the skin. Um, and it also helps improve circulation. Now one of my favorite companies, um, Birch Rose and Company, actually makes a really nice um, pink clay mask. So the last one is Rasool Clay. It's actually a clay that's from Morocco. It's mined deep beneath the Atlas Mountains in eastern Morocco and it must be extracted under extremely special conditions. It contains a high percentages of silica, magnesium, potassium, and calcium. Its extraordinary powers of absorption makes it more effective than other clays for cleansing, detoxing, and general skin treatment. It reduces dryness, flakiness, improves skin clarity, skin elasticity, skin texture, removes surface oil and oil from inside and around zits and blackheads, yes, and also removes dead skin slayers. Now, what's crazy is how come we don't see this mask all over the place? 
I don't know. It's been used for centuries. You just don't see it in a ton of beauty products. Even when you Google just Rasool Clay masks, not a lot comes up. So it's another one that um, can be just mixed with water. The cool thing about that clay too is that it can also be used as a natural shampoo and conditioner. That's just a quick rundown guys of clays. Some of the, the conventional products that you're gonna see this in is Glam Glow. Glam Glow, all, they're almost all based in, in kaolin clay. If you're interested in purchasing clays and coming up with face masks on your own, I recommend purchasing off of Garden of Wisdom. So all of these can be purchased in four ounce packs for $5 on Garden of Wisdom's site. And then just cruising Pinterest, because there's so many DIY recipes involving clay that you really, it just doesn't have to be complicated, it doesn't have to be expensive. So thanks for watching guys, have a great week, and I'll see you next time! Oh, and I know we're in the she cave today, but there will be a vlog up on Friday, so I'll be taking you around Maui then. Okay? Bye!